One of my favorite tools to use is Loom, L-O-O-M. I use, I use it as my video repository. It's like the best deal on the market. It's probably only like 10 bucks a month. I'm not an affiliate. I just use it all the time. But there's one little thing that drives me crazy. When you create your Loom videos, you can grab the link. And of course, the link then when people click on it, it takes it to the Loom player, which is fine. But if you want to embed that video inside of your web page or your funnel, out of the box, it gives the little like video details. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I created, let me get to the right page here. I created a quick little, just a, a sample page. And I purposely, it's just kind of small here so you can see it. And here is a video that's been embedded. I'll show you in a minute how to grab that embed code from Loom. But here's the irritating thing. It has the kind of the little header information of what that video is. It is good how long it is, but then it also has the link that would take you back to Loom. And I don't want that. I want to condense everything so they stay on this page. So what is the, <laughs> excuse me, the workaround of that? Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, when you are inside of your Loom account and you want to grab the embed code, the first thing you do when you hover over one of your, and let me make this just a little bigger so you can see it now. When you're hovering over one of your videos, if you, the little link button is just right there, but if you click the three dots and then click share, and then this is where we can get the embed code. And you want to make sure that you have the responsive size and you just click copy the embed code. OK, but again, straight out of the box, if I then go over to my uh, web browser and let me just click on this little video, let me make it a little bigger again so you can see it. And when I click on the little settings button, basically over here to the left is where we tell it how we want to insert our video. So we could use a YouTube link, Vimeo, Wistia, but I'm using the custom embed. Okay. So whenever I click on that, I just, all of this, you can't read it all, but right there, that whole line. But again, then we get that little irritating extra text. So here's the workaround. I wish that there was a button. I have reached out to them before saying, hey, you know, can you please change it? Um, but as of this point, this is what we have to do. So hopefully you can see this screen here. If not, I will put it in the comments. So out of the box down here at the bottom is just the, the embed code. What you have to do is right after the actual video description, which it'll have loom dot, uh, com embed and a whole bunch of numbers and all of that kind of stuff right after those numbers you want to add this little piece of code uh hide underscore owner blah 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 and i'll put this in the comments so that you'll have it just insert that and then it will magically take away uh it will hide all of the other stuff so let me grab the code and i'm going to come back over here and i will edit this video and i'm just going to put the new code and i will save it i will publish it then i will click the little preview and ta-da there it is that uh little heading information is gone away all right so it's it's that easy so let me come back to you wherever wherever am i let me come back here and let me just talk to you face to face here so it it seems like it's complicated. It's not really. You just have to, when you're on Loom, grab the embed code. And then at the end of the actual little video marker, you put this little line of text and it will hide everything. And I will put it down below so you have that. And then you're good to go.
Are you using Loom or maybe you're using something else? I'd love to know what you're using and hey, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.